In a world filled with mysteries and unseen forces, there exists a sacred path known only to the chosen ones. Those who tread this path are few their steps, guided by ancient wisdom and profound truths that remain hidden from the ordinary eye among these truths are seven immutable laws that must never be violated. You see these laws are not mere guidelines, but the very essence of spiritual harmony and balance. Imagine a world where every action, every thought, and every breath is connected by an invisi. Bleed thread to the cosmic fabric of existence. This is the reality of the chosen ones. Their journey is not just a physical endeavor, but a spiritual journey. Each moment, a test of their devotion and understanding to stray from these laws is to invite chaos to disrupt the delicate balance that sustains the universe. But what exactly are these laws? Number one, the law of karma. The first law the chosen ones must not violate is the law of karma. Karma, often simplistically interpreted as a system of rewards and punishments, is in reality a much deeper and more int. Ricate principle, it is the cosmic law of cause, and affect an eternal interplay of actions and their consequences that weaves existence. This fundamental principle states that every action has a corresponding reaction. It is a simple yet profound truth that governs the universe. The chosen ones must always be mindful of their actions, understanding that what they send out into the world will inevitably return to them. In ancient teachings, Karma is likened to the sowing of seeds. Every thought, word, and deed is a seed planted in the fertile soil of tea. He universe destined to bear fruit in time the chosen. One's aware of their elevated status and the responsibilities it entails must be especially mindful of the seeds they seow. Their intentions and actions shape not only their own destinies, but also the destinies of those they are meant to guide and protect. Consider the story of Arun, a chosen one from a time long past. Arun was known for his wisdom and fairness, a beacon of hope in his community. However, in his youth, he was driven by ambition and a desire for power in his quest for greatness. He made Dehay. Decisions that brought suffering to many he betrayed a trusted ally for personal gain, manipulated situations to his advantage, and ignored the pleas of the less fortunate. At first his actions seemed to bring him closer to his goals. He rose in status and influence admired by those who only saw his external success. But karma, like the turning of a great cosmic wheel, began to manifest its truths. The consequences of Aeon's actions started to unfold. The ally he betrayed once a loyal friend became a formidable enemy. The manipulations that once seemed clever. Egan to unravel, leading to chaos and mistrust, the suffering he ignored grew into a wave of discontent that threatened to engulf him. Aeon's story is a powerful reminder that the effects of karma are inevitable and impartial. The seeds he sowed in his pursuit of power bore bitter fruit, and he was forced to confront the pain. And discord he had caused, the chosen ones are not immune to the laws of karma. In fact, their elevated roles demand an even greater awareness of these principles. Their actions, whether motivated by pure intent or selfish desires, ha. The far-reaching consequences this understanding instills in them a profound sense of responsibility and humility. They must constantly evaluate their motives, ensuring that their decisions and deeds are in harmony with the greater good. Karma also extends beyond individual actions, to encompass the collective. The chosen ones, often seen as leaders and guides, influence the karmic journey of their communities and nations. Their ability to inspire and uplift others to foster harmony and justice is intrinsically linked to their adherence to the law of karma when they, they act with integrity and compassion. They generate positive energy that benefits all conversely when they succumb to ego and selfishness. The negative impacts are felt far and wide in Hindu spiritual traditions. Karma is seen as a cosmic ledger, recording every action and its corresponding reaction. This ledger teaches rather than punishes guiding souls towards higher understanding and enlightenment for the chosen ones. It serves as a constant reminder that their power is not arbitrary, but entrusted to them for the purpose of service and 
De stewardship. Each action is a lesson, each consequence. A teacher guiding them towards greater wisdom and alignment with the divine. Number two, the law of truth. The second of these sacred tenets speaks to the essence of truth to lie is to distort the very fabric of reality to create ripples that can unravel the cosmic balance the chosen ones are called to live in absolute honesty, not just in their words, but in their actions and intentions. The ancient philosopher Socrates once said, False words are not only evil in themselves, but they infect the soul with evil Socrates' assertion that false words are inherently evil and corrupt. The soul underscores the deep moral and psychological consequences of dishonesty. Socrates believed that truth is fundamental to the health and integrity of the soul, and, and that falsehoods, whether spoken or believed, can cause significant harm to an individual's character and well-being. The impact of falsehoods on the human psyche can be manifold. Engaging in deception erodes one's self-respect and integrity. When a person lies, they create a dissonance. B. Between their true self and the persona they present to the world, this dissonance can lead to internal conflict, guilt, and a sense of unworthiness, which can diminish one's sense of self and overall happiness beyond their immediate harm. False words carry a deeper consequence, corrupting the very essence of one's being in a society built on trust and truth lies, erode the foundation of morality and integrity, leading to a distortion of reality and a loss of inner harmony. Socrates's admonition serves as a timeless reminder of the moral imperative to uphold honesty and integrity in our words and deeds. For the sake of our individual souls and the collective well-being of society, this principle holds a profound truth for the chosen ones. Truth is not just the spoken word, but a way of life, a commitment to authenticity and transparency in every thought, action, and intention. The law of truth demands that the chosen ones live in alignment with their highest selves, estwing deception, hypocrisy, and falsehood. Truth is the foundation of trust, and without trust, the chosen ones cannot fulfill their roles as leaders and guides the importance of truth in their lives is beautifully illustrated in the ancient tale of Hearth and the Oracle. The concept of SAA in Hinduism is one of the yamas or ethical guidelines that form the foundation of a righteous life in Christianity. Jesus Christ declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life, emphasizing the centrality of truth in spiritual practice. The Quran extols the virtues of truthfulness, and in Buddhism, the Noble Eight-Fold Path includes right speech, which encompasses speaking the truth for the chosen ones. Truth I is not only about avoiding lies, but also about living authentically, they must be true to their values, their purpose, and their inner selves. This means acknowledging their strengths and weaknesses, their fears and aspirations, and presenting themselves honestly to the world. Authenticity breeds trust, and trust is the cornerstone of their ability to lead and inspire others. The law of truth also demands that the chosen ones speak truth to power, challenging injustice and corruption wherever they find it. This requires immense courage, as the truth is, often uncomfortable and can provoke resistance, from those who benefit from lies and deceit. Yet the, the chosen ones understand that their silence in the face of falsehood makes them complicit in the perpetuation of injustice. Number three, the law of reverence for life as the journey of the chosen ones continues. They are guided by another immutable law, the reverence for life. This principle is integrated into their existence, demanding a profound respect for all living beings. This law emphasizes the interconnectedness of life, recognizing that Eve, Rye entity from the smallest insect to the mightiest, tree plays a crucial role in the balance of the cosmos. The sanctity of life is a central theme in spiritual traditions. The Eastern philosophy of ahima or non-violence teaches that to harm another is to harm oneself. 
The ancient Jain texts speak of the universe as a vast, interconnected web, where every life form is a strand that supports the whole. Similarly, Native American beliefs honor the spirit of all living things, seeing humans as caretakers rather than dominators of the earth a chosen one must navigate the world with this reverence at the forefront of their actions. Their journey often places them in situations where the sanctity of life is tested. They must protect, nurture, and heal, recognizing that their power comes with the responsibility to preserve the delicate balance of existence. The law of reverence for life extends beyond immediate actions to encompass broader choices and attitudes. The chosen ones are stewards of the earth, advocating for sustainable living and the protection of natural habitats. They understand that ever. I decision, no matter how small, impacts the larger web of life. This law demands mindfulness and intentionality in all aspects of their existence in the modern world, where environmental destruction and exploitation are rampant. The chosen ones serve as beacons of hope and change. They work to educate others about the importance of preserving the natural world, promoting practices that honor and protect the environment. Their reverence for life is a call to action, inspiring others to recognize their own role in the interconnected web of existence. The teach-in, ass of Buddhism also resonate deeply with the law of reverence for life. The concept of car underscores the interconnectedness of all beings and emphasizes the inherent value of every form of life, just as the chosen ones strive to safeguard and nurture life. Buddhism teaches the importance of alleviating suffering and promoting the well-being of all sentient beings. This shared commitment to compassion and reverence for life transcends cultural and philosophical boundaries, reflecting a universal truth about the interconnectedness and san of El. El life forms the law of reverence for life, is a call to recognize the sacredness of existence in all its forms. It challenges the chosen ones to act with compassion, to protect and nurture and to see the divine in every living being. This law is not just a guide for individual actions, but a principle that shapes their worldview, influencing how they interact with the world around them. Number four, the law of balance. The fourth law we encounter is the law of balance. It is not merely a concept, but a living, breathing force that permeates all a Existence, the ancient Chinese philosophy of Taoism, embodies this through the principle of yin and yang. These opposing forces are interconnected and interdependent, each containing a seed of the other. The T.A. Ching, a foundational taste text, speaks of the harmony that arises when these forces are in balance. When people see some things as beautiful, other things become ugly. When people see some things as good, other things become bad. This duality is essential to the natural order and to the path of the chosen ones. The law of balance also governs the in eternal lives of the chosen ones. They must cultivate a balance between their physical, emotional, and spiritual selves. There should be a balanced approach to life, avoiding extremes of indulgence and asceticism, because true peace lies in balancing the body's needs with the soul's aspirations. The chosen ones must learn to navigate this maintaining equilibrium in both their inner and outer worlds, in their interactions with others. The chosen ones must also strive for balance. They are often called upon to mediate conflicts, heal divisions, and restore harmony. I this requires them to see beyond dualities to understand that every side of a conflict holds its own truths, and that reconciliation comes through finding common ground. The natural world, too, provides countless lessons on the importance of balance, the cycles of the seasons, the ebb and flow of tides, and the delicate ecosystems all demonstrate how life thrives when balance is maintained. The chosen ones draw inspiration from these natural rhythms, applying these principles to their own lives and duties. The law of balance also extends to the chosen ones' use of power and authority they must wield. Their abilities with humility and restraint understanding that power can easily corrupt and disrupt the balance, the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle spoke of the golden mean, a virtue that lies between extremes, 
Aristotle's concept of the golden mean captures the idea of finding balance and moderation in all aspects of life instead of pursuing extremes. Whether in behavior, emotions, or actions, Aristotle advocated for cultivating virtues that lie between deficiency and excess. This principle is mere. Roared in the responsibilities of the chosen, ones who must balance their strength with compassion, their wisdom with humility. The law of balance is a guiding principle that shapes every aspect of the chosen one's journey. It calls them to live harmoniously with themselves, with others, and with the natural world. This balance is not static, but dynamic, requiring constant awareness and adjustment. Number 5. The Law of Compassion the fifth law is the profound law of compassion. This law is a cornerstone of their existence, guiding their interaction, as with all beings, and ensuring that their actions are rooted in empathy and kindness. Compassion is not merely an emotion, but a deep-seated principle that compels the chosen one to alleviate suffering and promote healing. Wherever they go, compassion is a universal value found in many spiritual traditions. Compassion is seen as essential to achieving enlightenment. The Dalai Lama often speaks of compassion as a source of both personal and communal well-being, teaching that if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice. Compassion similarly in Christianity, the parable of the Good Samaritan demonstrates the importance of helping others Regardless of their background or circumstances, the chosen ones are frequently placed in situations that test their capacity for compassion. Their journey demands that they look beyond their own needs and desires, focusing instead on the well-being of others. This is not always an easy path as it often requires sacrifice and a profound understanding of the suffering of others. The chosen ones understand that true compassion often involves Vez addressing the root causes of suffering, this might mean challenging systems of oppression, advocating for the marginalized, or working towards creating a society where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Mahatma Gandhi, a prominent advocate of Ahimsa, demonstrated that compassion could be a powerful force for social change. His non-violent resistance against colonial rule in India inspired millions and showed that compassion and strength are not mutually exclusive for the chosen ones. Practicing compassion often involves embrace, non vulnerability. They must open their hearts to the pain and suffering of others, allowing themselves to be deeply affected. This vulnerability is not a weakness, but a source of profound strength enabling them to connect with others on a deeply human level. The law of compassion also guides the chosen ones in their relationship with themselves. They must learn to extend the same kindness and understanding to their own hearts that they offer to others. This self-compassion is crucial for their well-being, allowing them to continue their journey without being overwhelmed by guilt or self-criticism in the teachings of mindfulness and self-compassion. Pioneer. Dr. Christine Neff. Self compassion involves treating oneself with the same care and concern that one would offer to a good friend for the chosen ones. This means acknowledging their own struggles and limitations, forgiving themselves for their mistakes, and nurturing their inner strength. The law of compassion also encompasses a deep respect for all living beings, and the natural world the chosen ones recognize that humans are not separate from nature. But an integral part of it, this understanding, fosters a sense of stewardship and a commitment to protecting the environment. In many indigenous cultures, there is a profound reverence for nature and a recognition of the interconnectedness of all life. The Chosen Ones draw inspiration from these traditions, understanding that true compassion extends to the earth itself. They work to protect natural habitats, advocate for sustainable practices, and educate others about the importance of living in harmony, harmony with the environment. Number 6. The L. Law of Harmonic Resonance The Law of Harmonic Resonance unveils the interconnectedness of all things through vibrations and frequencies, emphasizing that the energy one emits will resonate and harmonize with the world around them. 
Understanding and embodying this law allows the chosen ones to create harmony within themselves and with the universe, aligning their actions and intentions with the greater cosmic symphony. Harmonic resonance is the phenomenon where objects or beings vibrate at the same frequency, creating a state of harmony and mutua. L influence this principle extends beyond the physical realm touching the emotional, mental, and spiritual dimensions of existence. The idea of Nadab Brahma or the world is sound emphasizes the power of sound and vibration in shaping reality, now meaning sound and Brahma. The ultimate reality or cosmic consciousness together suggests that the universe is essentially composed of sound vibrations. This idea emphasizes the transformative and creative power of sound, with the universe itself being a manifestation of divine sound energy in ancient Egypt. Ian mythology, the god that was believed to have created the world through the vibrations of his voice. He was often depicted as using the power of his voice through the spoken word or divine incantations to bring forth the world into existence. This belief reflects the profound significance attributed to sound and language in Egyptian cosmology, where words were seen as powerful forces capable of shaping reality itself in modern science. The study of cymatics demonstrates how sound frequencies can create intricate patterns and shapes in physical substance. S. Illustra the profound impact of resonance. These teachings highlight that harmonic resonance is not just a metaphysical concept, but a tangible force that influences all aspects of existence from the vibrations of atoms to the rhythms of the cosmos. Harmonic resonance serves as a unifying principle, shaping the very fabric of reality itself. Thus, cymatics offers profound insights into the nature of the universe and our place within in it. For the chosen ones, the law of harmonic resonance requires them to cultivate a state of inner harmony as their internal vibrations will resonate with the external world. The law of harmonic resonance also extends to the interactions and relationships of the chosen ones. It teaches them to be mindful of the energy they bring into their interactions as their vibrations will resonate and influence those around them. It also EMP emphasizes the importance of aligning one's actions with their highest intentions and values. The chosen ones understand that their actions and intentions emit vibrations that resonate with the universe, attracting corresponding E experiences and outcomes. Number seven, the law of transformation. The seventh and final law is the powerful law of transformation. This law embodies the essence of change, growth, and evolution. It teaches that life is a continuous process of transformation, where old patterns and beliefs must be shed to make way for new insights and understandings. The chosen ones must embrace this dynamic process, recognizing that transformation is both an internal and external journey. Transformation is also a key theme in the natural world, where cycles of growth, deka, I and renewal are constantly at play. The chosen ones draw. Inspiration from these natural processes, recognizing that transformation is an essential part of life's journey. They understand that just as the caterpillar must transform into a butterfly, they too must undergo their own metamorphosis to reach their fullest potential in Christianity. The resurrection of Christ symbolizes the profound transformation from death to eternal life. The chosen ones are often faced with situations that demand profound transformation. They must learn to let go of the past, adapt to new realities and evolve in response to the challenges they encounter in the Zen tradition. The concept of Mu or emptiness represents the idea of letting go and creating space for new possibilities. The chosen ones practice this principle, understanding that holding on to the past prevents them from embracing the future by letting go. They allow themselves to be transformed by new experiences and insights. This intellectual humility allows them to evolve their understanding and adapt to new insights. The law of transformation also encourage. As the chosen ones to nurture the potential in others, they 
recognize that everyone is on their own journey of growth and that their role is to support and inspire that process by helping others transform. They contribute to the collective evolution of their community and the world. The law of transformation also encompasses the idea of letting go. The chosen ones must learn to release what no longer serves them, whether it be outdated beliefs, unhealthy relationships, or limiting fears. This act of release creates space for new growth and opportunities allowing. G them to move forward unencumbered the law of transformation is also about honoring the cycles of life. The chosen ones understand that just as the seasons change, so too must they, they embrace the natural rhythms of growth decay and renewal, recognizing that each phase is essential for the overall balance of life. The cycles of nature are deeply respected and celebrated. The chosen ones draw inspiration from these traditions, understanding that transformation is a natural and necessary part of existence. They align themselves with these cycles F.E., ending harmony and balance in the process the seven laws, that the chosen ones must never violate represent a sacred code of conduct guiding their actions and interactions with the world around them. These laws serve as pillars of moral and ethical integrity, anchoring the chosen ones in their pursuit of higher ideals and spiritual enlightenment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.